Hello, this is Greg Lambert with Flying Armadillo Disc Golf Course. Uh, this is video number four in our documentation of hole number eight on the uh, large disc golf course. So uh, I'm here where I was on the last video at the tee box, and as you can see, I've cleared a little bit. Uh, but mainly you can see, I think you can see some light through the trees there. That is a path that I've cut. Uh, still got a lot to cut in there, but at least we've got a path and we can kind of see where the hardwoods woods are and uh, what we have to cut. So uh, anyway, I think I will just uh, walk the fairway on this one, but instead of going around like we did last time, I'm gonna go take this new path that I've cut. Now the eventual, eventual uh, fairway for the uh, blue tee will go more to the left over here. So it'll be in this stuff. Although I think we're, we're hopefully gonna have a couple of lines uh, in here. I can clear out some of these older cedars and and uh, make some more more difficult lines, but at least uh, give the blue thrower some options. Okay, you can see tons of debris, and this is only the start of it. So what we do on these uh, trees, typically, like this, is we will cut them up high, and not actually cut any down until we uh, we've decided where the lines are going to go, and then we'll, we'll make some final cuts. But at least this way, we can see what we have. And somewhere about over in there is going to be where the white tee is. Okay, so we're getting up to the, uh, the two large oaks here. Most of the canopy for these two large oaks has been cleared. So now we can see that uh, for a throw to get through here, we're going to probably have to cut uh, these branches here and this one coming down here. To open it up and probably some of these big cedars will have to be cut we'll have to wait and see but that's the view back down at the uh, the tee box so that that large one right there will probably have to go but we'll see and then the red tee box is going to be over there somewhere okay so here's the uh the cleared canopy And now we're into the landing zone. And we've had a, a lot of rain the last couple of days, so we took advantage of it and burned uh, quite a few debris piles like that one over there. I think we burned five or six of them. So Michael has been working on the backside here. Uh, so he's cut a lot of these trees out. We still, we still want to clear out underneath that, that large oak so that when it gets hot, it can, uh, it can do a little better without all the cedars crowding it out. And some of the poles that we keep. And you can see Michael has cleared out in here. Uh, again, cut a lot of the, uh, uh, the debris away and left just some of these cedar sticks. This is not actually gonna be in the fairway. This is off in the rough. And so we'll, we think, we're thinking we'll use these sticks as uh, kind of a bunker on the right hand side. There's the, uh, the one debris pile we didn't get to burning. Uh, that uh, that's, that uh, oak there has been cleared out. And this oak here has been cleared. So the plan is you'll land as close into this area as you can. This is, I think is about 300 foot from the blue. And then you'll have a throw through here to the, uh, the basket, which is right through there where that uh, that dead cedar is. All right, let me go on inside the canopy. Turns out after we open it up, this is just a beautiful oak tree. Whoops, sorry about the finger. So it's got a, uh, a huge canopy. And I think on this one, we may have to cut this one right here. And maybe that one right there. So you, let, you get in the landing zone, you, you throw underneath the tree here. And then we've done a little bit of clearing on the green back here. So the green will go probably where that uh, 
that batch of uh, cedars, the the uh, dead one on the right and the one that's uh, kind of hanging in there, that probably will be where the basket is. So lots of uh, lots of debris and lots more cutting. But that's the progress so far. Thank you very much.